Once again, I will have you speak for me to those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. The number is getting smaller and smaller as the separation goes on. Those who have put their trust in man and his evil plans for the future no longer seek me or hear me. Some of you have gone through fiery trials. Some of you are going through fiery trials. And some of you will go through fiery trials in the future. Know this, I have a purpose for these trials and tribulations, and that is to divide my sons and daughters from those who are sons and daughters of the enemy. I am separating the holy from the profane, those who live in and by my spirit, from those who live in and by the flesh, and those that love this world, from those who look to the world that is to come, because it is their home. Without holiness, none of you will see me. You must come out of this world and separate yourselves unto me. There are many who have been sucked down by the vortex of evil that is the current world system. You must look to me, cry out to me and stretch your hand forth, so that I may snatch you out. This world full of evil sin and wickedness will be beyond anything that has ever been before. It would be bad enough if this world full was of water, but it is of excrement. It is like the manure pits of your modern day farms, where they store it up and then spread it upon the fields by projecting it up into the air. The enemy and all those who follow him try to touch everything with their filthy, wicked abominations. They want to change all of mankind into their image and erase mine. Their fields are white for harvest, but they are coating them with filth. The enemy imitates all that I do. I live inside of my own. They are changed by my Holy Spirit and we are one. The enemy will try to accomplish this by pharmacia. This is why I must send the former and later rain in the same month. My spirit will be poured out upon all flesh, and this deluge will cleanse the harvesters and the harvest, and my barn will be filled. Those who know me, or will know me, will accept this outpouring, but those who do not know me, or will know me, will reject my spirit and shall spend eternity with their father in the lake of fire forever. This world has become an unimaginable stench to me, but my people are like a sweet aroma to my nostrils. The true spiritual sacrifices of praise and worship offered up to me by my spiritual priests burns like a sweet incense and it fills my temple. This temple is not made by human hands, but it is alive. I am the chief living cornerstone, and my holy chosen priesthood are living stones that build my spiritual house. This is a temple of light, and it shines ever more brightly in the ever-increasing darkness. You are once a people who are the children of darkness and disobedience but you repented before me, and I gave you mercy. You were born again and transformed into children of light and holiness by the Father of light. Now I say to you, spiritual Levites, give yourselves for the service to me. Consecrate, purify, sanctify yourselves, and be holy as I am holy. Reject the plans of the enemy and his followers of a new order and system upon this earth. Do not allow them to put their poison inside of you, for you cannot serve two masters. You will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. All who are marked by the enemy will have no desire for me whatsoever. You must put all of your trust in me, and I will supply all of your physical and spiritual needs during the time at hand and what is to come. Cry out to me in repentance, 
and my blood shall cleanse every spot, stain, blemish, smudge, and even smooth out every wrinkle, so that you are perfect and sinless before me. I do not ask for your self-righteousness, but the righteousness that only I can give you by my spirit. You are the carriers of my presence, just as the Israelites of all carried the Ark of the Covenant. You must make preparations for this, and not take this lightly. To prepare, you must heed what I tell you, and be holy as I am holy. In true spiritual worship and praise to your Lord and Saviour, lay your life down before me, and do my will. This is your highest calling, and the only way that you will ever feel fulfilled, and be fulfilled. I have more prepared for those that yield to me than they could ever ask, hope, desire, think, imagine, or even dream, because it has never even entered into the heart of man, or that my Father and I have prepared and kept ready for those who love us. I am going to prepare a work in your days that you would not believe even if I told you, my chosen priesthood. You will be utterly astonished as I walk through you. The way that the world has been will never be again. So do not look back but look ahead and press on towards what I have planned. Turn your eyes from the plans of the enemy now. For I have shown you the evil that he is going to do. But it in no way compares to my plans. I will come in the power and anointing all my chosen ones, like never before very soon. Then my transformed ones shall go out in all of the earth shining my light to help me seek and save all of my lost sheep. Then I will return with ten thousands of my saints and consume all of my enemies with the brightness of my glory. It is written, it shall be so. But I warn you, children, do not think that you will escape tribulations, but you will overcome them, because I overcame them. It will be by my blood and the word of your testimony. You cannot love this earthly life that is temporary, but be ready for this life to be taken from you at any time. He who loves his life will lose it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life in my kingdom that has no end. I am Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach.